Hello individuals, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to what feels like it's been for a while, but what I got from said Comic Con. This time it's what I got from Gateshead Comic Con, uh, that was yesterday, but yeah, it was yesterday in terms of, in terms of filming. It is going up today, it's, uh, yeah. And it was WrestleMania last night, so I'm extremely tired because it was a stupidly long show, but it was a fucking awesome show, I'm just really, really tired. But first of all, I got this from Gateshead Comic Con. I might as well show it off now because I'm wearing it, because after this I'm going to film my unboxing for my Detective Pikachu stuff. Here he comes, so I don't think I'm going to upload that today, that might just come up tomorrow, so come back tomorrow for that. Yes, Gateshead Comic Con was amazing. The vlog is up on the channel. Uh, I've sent it to their Facebook page as long as they allow it. And uh, if you were there, I hope you had a sick day. And if you're new to the channel and you're from there and you, you're watching this stuff, hi, I'm Dan. <coughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Spilled coffee everywhere. And uh, disaster. This Comic Con was cool. I got some really cool shit. And I'm just going to, I was going to do like a separate what I got for Comic Con and unboxing, but I'm just going to do it in a wanna. So when I show it, we're just going to unbox the fucking hell of it straight away. So it could be a little bit of a long video. So. With that in mind, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Uh, Wabooski, Wabooski, have a nice dooski, and then uh, we'll, we'll start. What the fuck is that? Right, we're gonna jump straight in with, we've got two mystery things to unbox. I'll tell you, because we've got stuff to unbox that I want, we're gonna do Lucky Plumbus. If you are new to the channel, Lucky Plumbus stays there, because when we're unboxing stuff, it brings us the luck we need. Start with a possible new uh, mascot, and it is this Machamp plush. He is very, uh, very cockeyed. That was a, a nice, lovely, I think it was 18 quid. I remember when I would have bought it, Bill, 18 quid for a little stuffed toy. And I was like, well, it's a nice little Pokemon plush. You can chill, watch, oh shit. I'm gonna say watch future videos, but that ain't gonna happen. Next up on what we got from Gate Ted Comic Con, this lovely Rick Grimes figure. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't overly expensive, but it's such a cool little figure. And I am quite tempted to just rip it out the box and have him stood up on his little podium with his little gun out. Looking badass. I miss you, Rick. Could you please hurry up and come back? There is a lovely Rick Grimes. The only Funko Pop I got is Civil Warrior. Chris was buying a Funko because he's doing the Bombshell collection. And uh, they were on two for 15. So I said, I'll just get his one. And this is the only one that the, the selection that I was really, really like. So I thought I'd go for Civil Warrior. He got Bombshell Ivy or Catwoman. I, I can't remember. Um, Next up on the figure line, because we, we, we might as well get the figures over and done with, we're boom, Black Manta figure. That is fucking beautiful. I seen it, there was like a choice between him, Batman, Superman, Flash, and for whatever reason, he stood up more. Not that he's one of my favorite characters, I do like Black Manta, but he stood out a hell of a lot more. They didn't have, oh, that, that was Superman they had. They might have had that Aquaman as well. Look at that, and it's for, what is that? 20, uh, 1998, 2018, 20 years. 20 years collectibles direct from the source. Um, shall we do? Because we've got a mystery bag, right? And we've also got a mystery box. I'll tell you what, we're going to do the mystery box. What's the best way to open this? This was, as you can see, £10. We'll open it that way. And it's DC. You had a choice between, like, gaming, um, gaming, Disney, Marvel, and stuff. I thought, let's just go for DC. Why the hell not? Come on, Sting. I didn't go for any of the tape there, I don't think. So £10, what kind of shit are we expecting to get from a £10 box? Oh! 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shit! Oh, snap! Okay, we got a vinyl figure for the the Batman vs Superman film. Wow! And then one for Suicide Squad. Shit, that's fucking cool! And then, ah, oh, a little um, Wonder Woman. Uh, metal die cast figures. I've got the bigger versions of these. Shit, that's nice. And finally, a little Suicide Squad uh, Harley Quinn figure. Oh my god. Uh, that was from Time Travel Toys. If you want to go check them out, definitely do. The woman at the store was very, very nice. It's where I bought the Black Manta and I bought two little Lego figures, which I actually, where the fuck are they at, actually? Two little Lego figures that are there for work. Should we, up, should we get these open now? Right, they just open this little DC Harley figure. I'm going to put it out there. If, again, if you're new to the channel, um, I think this is the ho horriblest take on Harley Quinn we've ever had in my life. I think it's crap. Uh, right, the figure. <laughs> oh, shit, she's dead. Look at that. She's, um, that's, uh, that, that is Margot. If I've ever seen a figure before, that is Margot Robbie. 100%. What the fuck? Not gonna open up the, uh, the the Wonder Woman. I can say right. Oh, rarities. Oh, they haven't got rarities. Oh, one slash twelve chance of each. All oh, right. Okay. So there's no 
There's none that are rarer than any. If I could, if I had the choice, I'm going to say Captain Boomerang would be pretty cool. Captain Boomerang's on there, is he not? Or am I just blind? Hey, he's at the top there. Uh, I would like Captain Boomerang. Diablo would be pretty cool. Get a croc. Um, dead shot. And it is, it is, it is, it is. Oh, oh, oh. We, oh, there you go. We got dead shot. Ah, oh, that's actually, that's actually cool. I mean, the film's awful, but that's, that's a nice figure. Again, with the Batman versus Superman lot, focus, you fucking shit camera. It's, uh, it's all just the same. One in period of the open. You stupid fat fingers. Um, I would like Desert Batman. That would be pretty cool. Um, if we get Superman, to whatever. Batman, we are aiming for the bat. It's all about, it's all about the bat, about the bat. It is. Oh, oh, it's Arthur Curry. The aqua. Oh, your trident is extremely bent. That is a shout I am willing to take. Really though, should you deserve your own figure? You're in the film for about five seconds. I mean, you're awesome as fuck. I'm not complaining, but why is your trident so bent? Well, it's a fucking sick figure. We can't complain. We'd have an Arthur Curry. If you're part of the set, you're part of the set. So what should we do next? Oh, let's take a look at these little bad boys. I got. These two marbles, right? If you're long-term Pokemon fans, uh, you'll remember these when they first come out. I got Nidoking and Alakazam. I had the whole collection of these, and my mum chucked them out when I was younger. You don't need marbles anymore. And I seen them in like, the nostalgia sort of fact hit. Stop trying to focus on Rick Grimes. And I was like, I'm getting two of these. Only 50p each. I bought them for the guy. The guy was sound. Next up is this random, just little Gundam wing figure. I don't know if I have to assemble this or how it comes. Oh, there is, there is kind of an assembly. It has got a little stand. It's been uh, a while since I did anything Gundam wingy typey. There's, oh, that was for the collection. Oh, do you, do you have to assemble or do I just have to? I don't know who this is though. Or do I just have to put your, put your, ah, put your gun on? And we have this bug. Well, Beal, uh, if you've seen the vlog, you'll know who Beal is. He is a kind of visual guy. He just went to this little vending machine and I thought that is the nastiest little Pokeball he gives us. But uh, I assume it has a Pokemon inside. Uh, Venusaur. I don't know why I said Venusaur. Oh, it's Ludicolo. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That is, um, <laughs> that is some detailed Pokemon, um, Detailing. I don't know what I want to say. I'm just it's took the words right out of my mouth. That is fucking hideous. Ludicolo. Um, if I can even call you a Ludicolo, you can you can chill next to Deadshot. If you kill him, Deadshot, I won't say a single thing. Pa Street Fighter. Not the biggest Street Fighter fan, um, but it's the knees. I thought, what the fuck? Let's go for it. Well, it's like a I think I've got that, this, and two things which I haven't shown you yet, all for like 15 quid. Let's get Ken. I like Ken. Oh, we got Ryu. Oh, if we're gonna get anybody. Him or Ken are definitely the the, uh, the ones I assume you'd want to get. Um, one out of twelve. One out, they're all. Oh, they're all one out of twelve. What is it with the one out of twelve? When when did rarities come into these mini fungo things? That's pretty cool though. I'm happy with that. Like I said, if you if you were to get him, uh, Bison would be one. Ryu Ken or well, Ryu Ken. Uh, I think they would be the favourites. Two uh, Dragon Ball things. It feels like they're coming in egg, and I'm not quite sure how this works. Um, yeah, they're in, they're in a big, big egg with a square bit there. Why are they in an egg? Oh, this is going to be horrible to open for my fat chubbiness. <sighs> I actually don't think it's that hard. I think if I just uh, paid attention to where the sellotape was, and then I can pop it off. What a fucking idiot. Ah, oh, I've got tape on me. Right, who did we get? Oh, it feels like loads of small loose parts. Okay, so you get an invisible one. You get an invisible... Where did I put the bag? Let's take a look at the bag. Now the look of things, now the look of things there, we've got uh, Krillin and Genu. Gen That's not who that looks like. Genu. Gen what am I, am I being dummy? I actually am a Dragon Ball fan and I'm lost. I found the best bit of paper in here. It says, Freezer! Lost! Spadidia! No, no, no. 
<laughs> Frieza there. Frieza Mati. KO! Uh, and then you can go find Goku. Go find Goku if you want it to do it. Right, we'll go down here. Gonna go around, around the outside. Oh, oh, found him. Yay, we win. That's Goku versus fucking Vegeta there. I thought it was Goku versus Frieza. Yes, who have we got? Uh, body change. Jin Yu uh, and Krillin. That's not how you spell Krillin, is it? Krilly? What the fuck? It will do. We'll actually open up the figures. Uh, without trying to lose any pieces. Like I feel like I've just done there. Oh no, it's there. You get this little this little black fucking roddy standy up thing. Uh, sticking in his fucking back. Fuck you. Oh, that's cool. That, that, that is cool. And for a really tiny little figure... It's not horribly detailed. I mean, it's not the best, but it's <laughs> it's Summon and our other figure. Why have they got invisible ones? I don't know. Uh, the, 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 all the languagey stuff on any of the... Oh, no, I've lost a bit, and it's see-through. It's going to be a body to find. I found it. It's his arm. Why, 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 would you, why would you make his arm detachable? There's his head. Oh, God, this is just fucking horrible. Yeah, that's the right way. Oh, yours goes actually in your butt. Mmm. Yes. Couldn't think of anything uh, more kinkier to do. Wow. We've got Rick. Rick's disapproval face there. Yeah. Right, so we got this time. Dan, remember, there's there's a load of sellotape you can rip off. Is every game the same? Do we still just find Goku? Yeah, we find Goku. We already know how to do that. We uh, aced that from last time. Where's the end of the tape at? Oh, this one doesn't have an end. It goes all the way around. Aha! My brain powers have, uh, have not let me down there. Oh, shit! We've got a bit of Goku action there. What's this? Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's like a full thingy. We've got some Goku action here by the looks of it. Uh, Goku and Krillin, I think this will be. I think this will be. Oh, so we've got like the reverse of what we've got down there. That's absolutely fine. I will take that. Because it's like we've got the reverse of each other. Oh, this is like, like, Krillin, your arms are missing. And they're see through. What the fuck? Why have you done this? Right, you go into. Mm, to there. There's invisible. Oh, gosh! Focus. I mean, there's not much to focus on anyway because he's friggin' invisible. It, I think the camera actually knows who to pick up because he is invisible. Right, there's invisible Krillin. Let's get our boy, the main man, the one that everybody loves and fucking doesn't like to fight because they're just bats here, even though he's had his fair share of beatings. Kakarot. Come on. And. Oh, sweet. I don't have to assemble any of you. You just. Put that in your ass. <clears throat> and stick that in the base's ass. Could have you sideways if I wanted. Oh, what the hell? His arm fell off. What the? F I didn't have to. S you fucking bastard. Right, you go into. <laughs> the. <laughs> there we go. There's Goku. That's my little mini Dragon Ball figures. Next up is these two uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just they were, they were two pounds. You just buy a bundle of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I'm looking by the sides of them now that they haven't been the best looked after. There's some shitty cards in here. I don't know if we're all going to get hollows, any decent rares, whatever. Um, we'll just try and flick through these because I've still got quite a lot to unbox. Oh, these are. Ooh. Some performer pals there. These are some pretty alright cards. Yes, Marshmallow. Oh, Sonic Duck. <gasps> Slate Warrior. Des Koala. These are some okay. Oh shit, Black Luster Soldier. Toon World. Oh, there's some OG cards. Fusion Weapon. Okay, these, these, are, these are cool. These are cool. And in the next one, who's our hollow on the front? Infernoid and and Antra. We got a couple a couple of hollows in that last one. If we're gonna get the same here, I don't know. Battery Man Nine Volt Performer Pal. I don't so far I can't see any major um, 
theme with these. I don't think you just just chuck them all together and whatever it is. It's oh uh, petite dragon. No, look looking like we're not getting any more. Oh we got one of them shutter foil thingies. Some of the boxes. Oh, Blackless Soldier again. So maybe that was the thing that he did in all of his, because there was four on the table and I picked up two of them. Maybe he did that in all of his uh thing is okay they're they're pretty cool that they weren't a letdown for two quid i ain't gonna complain may have to bring the camera back for this next one because i'm going to show the artwork that i bought and some of the pictures and stuff because these could be my favorite things that i bought starting off with this beautiful little jason momoa aquaman picture that is fucking awesome i'll, uh, I'll be sticking all these up in a frame hanging around the house somewhere that's uh, one and then my favorite out of the three that i bought well, the three that from this store, a fucking mint venom. Just look at that. That is the greatest supervillain of all time. Well, until he joined, you know, the Guardians, become Venom, Space Knight, and stuff. Then he was a goodie. But he's my favourite villain of all time. And then finish off with Spider Gwen. She is awesome. I'm glad she's starting to make her way into the films with the Spider Verse stuff. And speaking of the Spider Verse, you're my sunflower. Look at that. Miles himself, the ultimate Spider Man. With his sneakers untied, it's a bit dangerous, uh, Miles, but falling into the city. What a fucking shot that is. And if you're a big Pokemon fan, I think to God, visuals, you will love this. It's Team Rocket chilling in a little, like, family-style portrait. That, whoever it is that did it, I don't know, the girl that I bought from never said, they are beautiful. A little Team Rocket bit of artwork. That is really fucking awesome. Like if Wobbuffet could sneak in there somewhere, that would be pretty cool as well. But that is just, that is the shit. I'm going to fill this one. This might be a bit awkward. We have another mystery bag. This was also £10 from a lovely lady at, uh, where I actually bought the Spider-Verse picture. But it's a mystery bag. And I don't know what it's going to contain. Chris and Beale being dickheads had a look. I'll just pull stuff out. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> a CM Punk uh, best, sweat, best sweat set in the world. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm a, a massive wrestling fan, but uh, I didn't expect that to come from there. What else do we got in here? What else do we got? We got a... An all-new X-Men full graphic novel. Shit, it's one that I've already got in the, the, the weekly series, or the monthly series, I should say, sorry, but... That's pretty cool. I quite like that. The X-Men are shaken to the core by the fallout from Battle of the Atom. That was a great little saga. What else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, we got this. Um, uh, oh, it's a shit. It's Doom Patrol. Oh, shit. That's cool. If you, uh, obviously, they've just recently got a TV series out. There's a nice little uh, old school Doom Patrol book there from when? June 94, number 79. Oh, sick. I'll take fucking that as well. What else is in this bag of tricks? Oh, this, this is a fucking nice mystery bag. This is nice. And we got Rad Sp Red Sparrow. See them. Oh, it's a phone case. I bet this is iPhone. I bet this is iPhone. Ah, uh, should I destroy it then? Because if it is iPhone, that looks like iPhone. Somebody can have that. Compatible with iPhone 6 and iPhone 6. Yeah, it's iPhone. Uh, Any anyway, of my iPhone mates can have that. More and more than welcome. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Visuals. That leopard, leopard skin print, fidget spinner. What a, what a, a, a random choice to chuck in. Okay, we got a fidget spinner. And last but not least, we have this is a. It's just oh my god, that's signed. Can you see that visuals? What the fuck? It's, um, ah, oh, what's his name? He was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the one, obviously, that steals Star-Lord's thing. I can't remember his name. Oh, my God, it's a certificate of authenticity. What? Are you kidding? Hologram number. Uh, Tim. See, he's actually signed that. You mad? I mean, like, he's not the, the biggest... I, I'm, I'm really worried that you can't quite see the signature, like, all that well visuals. Like... 
he's not the biggest character in the film and he's not in it for the greatest amount but he's he's heavy in the trailer and he gives a good interaction with with peter quill but holy crap that's cool that was a really awesome mystery unboxing i'm i'm just fucking shocked as so what fucking hell all right cool let's just open up the, the cm punkness and let's just uh because we've got one thing to unbox now will that stay around my arm probably not best in the world yes cm punk please come back oh my god <laughs> yeah that can't stay on i'm gonna have a blood clot i'll keep the armband on this is off is seven two four six seven marvel vinyl bobblehead figures i was selling them off for um uh, three pound each or whatever and I just says do you know what mate I'll just take the whole box so let's just smash into these these are set to actually have a rarity I have looked at the rarity Thanos for 1 of 72 so Thanos is 1 of 72 the dog just majorly kicked off Deadpool 1 out of 144 so if we get Deadpool then we are happy 144 and we are at Okay, we got Scarlet Witch. Not a oh, that, that was a bit scary. I stretch out like that. That was quite creepy. Not a bad start because she is two out of twenty-four. Oh no, wait, that's actually a shit start then. Uh, come on, Jimmy Chunga. Why is it cling film on? She's making making the process slower. I'm worried this video is gonna be way too long. And uh, next up, uh, I'll take Spider-Man as well. Oh, 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 we got us oh, the, the, the angriest, angriest Hulk has ever been. Shit. Next up, it's definitely Deadpool. What's Spider-Man's rarity? Two out of 24. Uh, I would be happy with Spider-Man because he's my favorite of all time, but we want to be lucky and hit them super duper rare ones. And it is. Oh, it's Frank Castle, Mr. Punisher. You also look quite... I think I just unboxed that above the camera visuals. I was looking at the box, not the camera. My apologies if I did. I'll check it back during editing. Frank Castle, he was... 2 out of 24 again. 2 out of 24. They must be... The... Oh! They must be the... They must be the... Um, extremely, extremely non-rare ones. Definitely Chili Chunga now. Definitely. Oh, no, straight away, you can tell who it is. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Fucking Prince of Mischief. Wow, you you Fuck, that is the most bobbly bobblehead of all time. There's only three more to go. Loki was... Well, that Loki was... Two, oh, there's a Loki of 144. Shit, we got the wrong one. No. Ah. Come on, feel the noise. Deadpool is next. Because watch this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no. Shit. Yes. Yes. Fucking yes. What were you again? I know you weren't the rarest. One of 72. I will fucking happily take that. We got the Mad Titan himself. Rocking the gauntlet with all Infinity Gems. Yes. Oh my fuck lord, yes, that is sick. I feel like the Deadpool luck has just gone now, but I was more than happy with a Thanos. 1 of 72. Fuck! Thank you, Plumbus. You did as proud. Our unboxings and shit in this uh, What I Got video. I am I am so happy. Ah, we yes, to nearly finish it off. Uh, a man which I was never going to be mad about getting. My favourite, Spidey. Oh, last. But not least, right? Because Spider-Man's rarity is 224. So yeah, he was he was he was super easy to get. You must if you buy a box, most likely to get the two out of twenty-fours. <sighs> to finish it off, at least I don't like don't worry about your rarity, just don't be a double. That'll do me. That will do me. Oh, oh, I see Brit. Ah, it's Green Goblin! Yes! You are I didn't even realise you were in here. 2 out of 24, so you're never quite common one. Fuck! That's a, not a bad collection to have. Oh, visuals, um, that is everything I've got, including the unboxings from uh, 
Kate said, Comic Con, what an awesome day it was. Uh, again, like I said, if, you, if you've if you seen the vlog, you've seen yourself in it or whatever, let us know in the comments below. Uh, I, I don't know how the vlog came out to some people. I watched it back after NFL. I said, a decent one. It's been a, I'm not used to being a vlogger anyway. And plus, I get caught up in the moment. I want to do some shopping. I want to sit and appreciate with my eye people's cosplays and stuff. And I get like too excited to carry it around. I'm a, I am a man child. That being said, visuals, you guys literally are the fucking best. Thank you so much for love and support. I'm so happy we got you. One out of 72 is awesome and you're so, so bobbly uh but yeah if you could wabuski wabuski that would be dope if you're new at the channel and you are from the gateshead stuff and you've only known about this channel because of the gateshead stuff welcome how are you doing but uh half that visuals thank you so much for watching and uh keep being you keep on keep it on